So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell the title today is a makeup look. So if you want to see how I create this makeup look then keep on watching. So to start off with my foundation I'm just applying it to the face using my fingers and then blending it in with my Real Techniques sponge. So this foundation is the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. Um, everything I use will be linked down below because I might forget to mention it or show it. Um, so that is what I'm doing first and then once I've done this, wow double chins, I will be going in with my concealer and I'll put it under my eye, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead and I'll blend it out with a sponge as well. So the concealer I'm using is the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer and it is in the shade C1. I absolutely love this concealer. So next up I'm using this foundation stick in the colour Caramel. This is from Primark and I know a lot of people can't get to Primark right now or they might not have it in their Primark so I will link loads of different alternatives down below for you. And then I'm going in with the Rimmel London Insta Geo Contour Stick and this is in the shade Medium. I just use this for my nose because it's a more cooler undertone for contouring. So now I'm taking loose powder on my Real Techniques brush, um, sponge sorry, and I am pressing in the powder under my eye. So the powder I'm using is Revolution powder in Banana Light. So this is just loose powder. I love this powder so much. Um, so once I've pressed in the powder underneath, I'm just going to brush away any excess with a small Real Techniques brush. So once I've done that I'm just going to take my big powder brush from Real Techniques and just taking the loose powder again and just powdering my entire face. I don't often have to do it with the Urban Decay foundation but this time I chose to do it just so that I had a really nice base for the bronzer and the blusher. So next up I'm taking the brush that I normally use for bronzer from Real Techniques, I'll see if I can find it, it's quite an old brush, and I'm taking my bronzer which is from Bobbi Brown and this is in the shade Golden Light. So I'm just using that where I normally would bronze my face and kind of over my contour. I'm then taking blusher on my Jessup's blush brush. And this is the Barry M blush and it is in the shade Make Me Blush. Any blush will do if you don't want to blush this colour. This is just the one that I chose to use today. So 
So next up I'm taking the loose powder again and just using that to mini bake underneath my bronzer. I literally don't leave it on for that long. It's just to kind of sharpen up the contour there and I just quite like how it looks but I only really do this if it's a heavy makeup look. So next up I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. So what I'm using here is from She Glam. It is their pencil sticks. It's got a pencil on one side and a spoolie brush on the other. I really like this one. Um, it's quite a fine tip. So yeah, I really like that. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows using that. So next up I'm going in with the Tinted Brow Gel by Mellow Cosmetics. Uh, mine's in the shade Dark Brown. I really like this for just kind of defining the hairs and the eyebrows. And also if I want my eyebrows to be a little bit darker then I use this. So using the shade that's shown on the screen or any similar brown that you have, and I'm using this on a flat dense brush to kind of pat onto the outer corner of the eye and I'm also going to do the same thing on the inner corner of the eye, leaving that gap in the middle. So once I finish doing that, I'm taking a larger brush with the lighter shade to blend out the edges, being careful not to blend too much colour into the centre of the eyelid. So here I'm just taking a fluffy brush with no product on it just to blend out the edges some more just so that there's no harsh lines at all. So I'm just going to keep going back in with colour and then blending until I'm satisfied with the colour that I want on the eyelid. Still making sure to not get too much colour on the centre of the eyelid because that's where we're going to do the spotlight eye. But as you can see I'm just kind of blending the edges so there's no harsh lines in the centre of the eye as well. So just using my ring finger for this bit I'm just taking the shimmery shade and packing on the product to create the spotlight eye. Of course you can use a brush for this, I just find that using my ring finger makes the product apply a little bit better. So here I'm just taking the shimmer shade and highlighting my brow bone. You can skip this step if you want to but I just thought I'd add it in. So for my under eye, I'm just kind of repeating the spotlight eye under my eye. So I'm doing the outer corner and the inner corner with the brown shade and then I'm doing the shimmer shade in the centre. You don't have to do this, I don't normally do this, I just thought I'd try something different. So it's really up to you what you do for this stage.
So for my mascara and my eyelashes, I'm loving doing this right now. So I'll just put a layer of mascara on and then I will get some false lashes, but I tend to cut them in half so that it's only the outer corner that it's actually on and I just love the look it gives. I feel like it's a little bit more natural and also if you struggle putting eyelashes on, this makes it 10 times easier. So for the lips, I'm using MAC's lip liner in the shade Strip Down and then I'm using MAC's lipstick in the shade Shrimp Tin. Now this is a satin lipstick but I really love my nude lipstick with darker lip liner. So that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you on my next video.